Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded in a while, but this video is on my favorite console and controllers. So, um, without further ado, let's just hop right on into things. We'll start off, uh, I'm gonna kind of go, go in chronological order. I, what does chron chronological order mean again? Anyway, I'm just gonna go in, on, in order of uh, the console's releases. This is the Nintendo. Uh, it's the Nintendo. I have one now. Um, this is the first era of, um... Not the first era, but you know, I don't know what I'm even saying. I'm not good at video games. Um, essentially, this is the first Nintendo like home console, sort of, I guess, in America. Um, it's really, really neat. You basically just put the games in by opening this little flap here, putting the games, and then pushing them and then pushing them down. Obviously, to turn on the console, you hit this little power button here, and this little red light will show up. And then, I love the reset button. You hardly get to use it, but I really, but I really don't like it when it's gone. Uh, so let's move on to the next console. Um, what's the next console that I own? Uh, I don't own a Super Nintendo yet. Um, I plan on doing so someday. So let's move on to the Nintendo 64. This is the Nintendo 64. It's overall a great console with great games like uh, Super Mario 64 uh, and Mario Kart 64 and GoldenEye um, and Zelda and a whole lot of other games. Um, it overall is a really great console, even though the control is kind of crappy. It, the controller definitely does not make the runner the running for uh, my favorite controller, but I'm still going to feature it in that section of this video. Um, it has these little cartridges, and uh, they're pretty neat, I guess. And to turn it on, of course, you just hit the on button, and there's a little LED light like Nintendo forgot to put on a lot of their consoles. And there's still the good old reset button. Uh, so let's move on to uh, the GameCube. Before I continue, I want to give a huge shout out to my dad for um, buying like a majority of these consoles in their release time. Um, my dad got all the consoles in their release time except for the NES. Since I couldn't find my dad's old NES, I had to get one. Um, and um, the Switch. My dad didn't get that. My grandpa did. Um, so anyway, here's the GameCube. This is a very, very nice console. The discs are relatively small, they, they're they like that big, and occasionally this doesn't work, I need to fix that sometimes, sometimes. Uh, it has these little memory cards, and in my opinion, nothing is awesomer than ripping, like, than physically ripping out the console's memory, and being able to stuff it in your friend's Wii when you go over to their house. Um, so, speaking of the Wii, let's move on. This is the Nintendo Wii, um... It has a lot of really good games. It was one of Nintendo's, I think it is actually Nintendo's best-selling console outside of the DS. I think it's their best-selling home console. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not very smart when it comes to video games. Um, its controls are a little bit wiggity-whack, uh, but that's overall okay. Um, it has LEDs in the, the disk drive, which I think is really cool. And I had to fix mine because the disk drive was broken. And that's a story for another day. I have a lot of film for that, and I'm sort of putting together... Um, a video for that. I start. I started filming like months ago, and I, I still gotta uh, put it all together. But in, in the moment where my re when my Wii f first read a disc for the first time in like a decade, I was really really happy because this thing's a very big staple of my childhood. Before I move on to the next Nintendo console, I want to mention uh, from the same days of the Wii, I have um, the PlayStation 3. Uh, I finally booted this thing up. I don't have any actual games for it. Well, I do have one called, like, Dust or something, but I haven't ever actually played it. I have very, very small memories of this one, but overall, I'm very glad that I have it because I can use it to play DVDs, and that's just wonderful. And then over here is the Wii U. It's not actually plugged in at the moment because I just wanted to get this video filming really quickly, so, like, all the stuff is still downstairs, because I like to move my consoles around. My friend uh, Andy from the channel Cosmo12345 describes it as taking my Wii U for a walk. Uh, it's not just my Wii U that I bring everywhere. I occasionally will bring my GameCube out or my Wii out. Uh, I n don't ever bring the N64 out because its composite cable is going to go behind the TV, and this TV is really old, and it only has, um... It only has composite cables, so I have to plug in the Wii U here using composite cables, so it doesn't look the greatest, but that's okay. Um, I pretty much have every Nintendo console besides the Super Nintendo here in my room, um, except for the Switch, so um, let's move on to that now. This is my Nintendo Switch, or technically it's mine, but now it's my brother's. 
it's in a really, really bad condition, but, you know, it still works. Um, overall, um, yeah, it has the Joy-Cons that aren't that good. It's a very interesting concept, and, um, my room is, but my room is mainly for things that had their time in the spotlight, uh, and now just retired to my room. Um, so yeah, time to, uh, think about what my favorite console is. And my favorite console is... This is going to surprise someone, I think. The Wii. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, 50% of my reason for liking this console is out of nostalgia alone. Um, but, yeah. Uh, smash dislike if you disagree with me. Or don't, or don't. Um, but either way, yeah. Uh, I, I, I generally like the Wii because I'm nostalgic for it. I played it a lot when I was little, and... Putting this thing, taking this thing apart to fix the disk drive and putting it back together was, I'm not going to say a bonding experience because it's a little bit weird to say that I bonded with a Wii, but it, it was a very nice experience and I only came to like it even more. Um, so yeah, that's the Wii. Now it's time to talk about my favorite controllers. Alright, this isn't every controller ever made. Of course, I'm missing the Super Nintendo controller. Um, my nunchuck's still over there. I didn't bother bringing that down. Um... Uh, I don't have original on-brand Wii Classic and Wii Classic Pro. Um, I don't have any of the other Joy-Con, not, not Joy-Cons. I don't have any of the other Switch controllers, like the Switch Pro, or... Well, well, I do have them. They're downstairs. I'm just too lazy to bring them up. Uh, I have the Power A one in, like, the Famicom livery or something, and, like, a normal, uh, Switch Black one. But anyway, let's talk about my uh, favorite. Let's talk about all the controllers and which one's my favorite. So first, I'm just gonna start with like the normal ones. This is the NES controller. It's nothing much to see. It's got like one, including the D-pad, as like one big button. It has like five buttons, which isn't a whole lot compared to something like the 64 controller. Um, but this thing is a really, really neat piece of history. Let me just unwind it. This is this is a very very nice controller. All almost everything about it is nice high quality. It's very very good in the hands. People always complain about these sharp edges, but they don't really bother me. Um, now let's talk about the uh, N64 controller. <laughs> if you don't know what the N64 controller is, um, you're about to know. Uh, yeah, something about Nintendo's thought process was not exactly you know. Uh, going along with something like PlayStation's, uh, thought process when it came to 3D controllers, I guess. Um, the joystick here absolutely blows. Um, however, it, it, it did do a lot of things right, like, everything kind of works. It's just kind of a stupid design overall, and while it's not, like, the best controller ever created, it definitely gets the job done. Now, let's talk, let's talk about getting the job done the right way. This is the GameCube controller. Let's just unwrap it. So this is the GameCube controller. This is by far one of the best controllers ever created and in my opinion the best created by Nintendo. Um, uh, it has a few flaws like this dinky little purple shoulder button here and the tiny little d-pad but in my opinion it all comes together and it works and where it counts it really has it this is the best joystick ever made ever the button layout mm, might confuse you a lot but boy oh boy is it good once you like really start using it and the these uh <laughs> i remember in my original video game collection video i said these here analog buttons um the the triggers are phenomenal they they're analog and that that's just amazing um yeah uh that's the gamecube controller this is the wii controller yeah um moving on this is the wii u gamepad con no just kidding um let's talk about this thing for a little bit it's a little bit wiggity whack um you can hold it like this and play Wii Sports or whatever Vector was doing in Despicable Me, or you could play Mario Kart Wii and smack it in a wheel. Um, 
in my opinion, it overall works really well because the buttons are very laid out similarly to the NES controller, which is now c covered in wires. Um, and in my opinion, this this sort of configuration or this one really ends up working well for games like Mario's um, Super Mario Bros. Wii or really um, like a lot of 2D platformers that aren't Smash Bros. Is, is, I'm dumb. Don't mind me. Is Smash Bros. even a platformer? I don't know. Um, so, uh, now let's talk about the Wii U. Um, it's big. It has a touch screen. And, um, the buttons click. Although it's just overall kind of doofy and it this thing dies on the charger nowadays. I had to buy a new battery for it. It's kind of doofy. It has a lot where it counts and the quality is overall really, really nice. Um... And, the, like, one of my main big gripes doesn't even matter because of how weird this controller is altogether, but great, is that the left joystick is above the buttons, in my opinion, like, on a smaller controller, like the PlayStation controller. If you had this above these, I, I would honestly freak out, but it works somehow here. Um, now, uh, the Switch Joy-Cons, these are a funny little thing. One word, they drift. Uh, they're not the greatest controllers ever created. These drift a lot. They really do, though. Uh, they're impressive, but not in a way that I like. When, like, they're, they have a lot of really ni nice technology put into them, but overall, it, they're just too small. They could have made these a little bit bigger, and I would have liked them a lot more, but, yeah, they, they work, and there's no, there's no D-pad. They're just this funny bunch of buttons. In, in English, that is what a D-pad is, but I like it when it's all connected, like here, or here, or even here, or here, or any other thing ever. Uh, speaking of D-pads, this is the Wii Classic controller. This is the closest thing I have to a SNES controller right now, except it just has joysticks. Um, in my opinion, this is overall a really great and underrated controller. It feels great in the hands, and I honestly like using this or the Wii Classic Pro for a game like Mario Kart 8 because I, for some reason, like using the D-pad in that game, and I'm pretty sure that's illegal um, to gamers. Um, but overall, yeah, the quality here is very, very nice, even though I don't have an on-brand one. This is the PlayStation controller. Uh, this is very, very similar to this, or even a SNES controller, if you really think about it. Um just has grips and joysticks and if you take those away it's not that far off from uh from a SNES controller then we have this which is basically like the most normalist controller for uh the Wii it has the grips it has joysticks it has the four button layout it's not wiggity whack um and yeah it's overall really great so which one's my favorite out of all of these uh, drum roll, please. Brrr, yeah, this one's not gonna be a surprise. The GameCube controller. The GameCube controller is a masterpiece. The button layout doesn't make sense not playing it, but when you're playing it, it's it's phenomenal. The uh, the analog triggers are the greatest. They're awesome. I love them very much. The D-pad falls a little bit short, and so does this dinky little Z button. Uh, but overall, this works great and if you take this and plug it into a Wii which you can do and I didn't even know that when I was little you get in my opinion my favorite combo of anything ever um yeah so uh have a nice day